Hi there, welcome to Oracle Database Performance Tuning 12C demo session organized by MindMagics. So, would like to introduce MindMagics first. So, MindMagics is a leading global online training platform. For more than last eight years, we have been involved into trainings. We have been providing trainings for more than 400 IT courses and more than 400,000 students globally. We have trained. All of the trainers that are working with MindMagix, they have at least 10 years of experience in their domains. We are not only providing trainings to individual participants, but we are also catering the corporate requirements. Corporate trainings at division uh, are provided on site as well as through the virtual mode. Let me introduce myself. I hold more than 14 years of experience in various banking and telecommunication sectors. For last more than seven years, I am also involved into some part-time trainings, which I do in my free time. The key areas where I'm working, they are Oracle Exadata. I have been working on to Exadata since X2, so it's been about uh, you know more than six years. Have been working on to Golden Gate 11G 12C. Have been working on RAT since Oracle 9i. Have been working on e-business suite applications uh, since 11i so it's been several years i've been working on um, major performance issues including performance testing management tuning query tuning uh, warehouse management vldb maintenance etc i've also been working on fusion middleware products especially oracle web logic server have been working on big data Hadoop technologies as well as on the cloud platforms including Amazon AWS, OCI, Azure and Google cloud platform. I'm Oracle certified expert on Oracle Exadata, Oracle Rack as well as on Oracle Database Performance Tuning. I am Oracle Database Implementation Specialist for Database Security Products which include Database Vault, Fire Vault and Audit Vault. I am OCP version 12C 11G 10G 9I. So this was a brief about myself. Now taking you to the course curriculum, which is designed, you know, basically what we are going to learn. Let's, you know, just get into those course contents. So this is basically the highlights for detailed course curriculum. You can also visit our website. So the major topics that we cover, uh, you know, that would start with the introduction to performance tuning the basic tuning tools that we have that right starting from the weight model time models right working with awr awr will anyway go hand in hand till the end of this training that cannot be finished in one chapter nobody can do that define the problems how you can define the problems in your database how to diagnose that's the first thing that you must know right so the first couple of lessons would be dedicated to the diagnostics part wherein you just need to see how to diagnose how to diagnose issues how to set up alerts how to set up metrics thresholds how you can use baselines sorry about that baselines is uh, written twice yes, right so it is just once so how to use baselines how to use AWR base tools how to monitor the applications, how to identify those SQL statements which are causing problems into your system, all right, which are causing the slowness or maybe hung in your database, how you can influence the query optimizer, right? So those who already are aware of databases, they must be able to know what is an optimizer. Using performance analyzer, SQL performance management wherein we will be talking about the plan management SQL plan baselines and a lot of other stuff We will talk about a lot of uh, execution plan generation reading and um, You know um, how to work with the nested loop joins hash joins access methods B tree bitmap There's a lot of content in this in these chapters basically how to tune the shared pool, right? How to work with the latches, the logs, mutexes, enqueues, etc. How to work with buffer cache, right? How to tune the buffer cache, how to tune the recycle pool, NK cache, keep buffer pool, 
you know as well as exadata flash cache what's new what is smart flash cache so all those things we'll be discussing here tuning the pga and the temporary space how to work with automated memory management right amm asmm so all those things we will be discussing here sj target and uh, pg aggregate target memory target memory max target sj max size so which parameter maps to uh, or which parameter undersizing can cause what issue so we will see all those we will also see a couple of kernel parameters which are recommended by oracle right how to tune the segment space how to uh, improve the performance by eliminating the hotspots on the segments right how to see the hot segments dictionary managed locally managed co-leasing indexes rebuilding indexes so there will be a lot of uh, you know content that is going to be covered and this will be followed uh, your course will be concluded with the performance training summary so whatever we will learn in this entire training that we will conclude in the summary lesson so this training content it takes approximately 20 sessions to complete all right so these sessions now can be 22 or they can be 18 so that is based on you know how it goes but rough estimation is 20 sessions and each session would be for you know one hour and apart from those there would be a couple of hours which you will need for the hands-on all the topics you know they will also be having a couple of hands-on associated with them that you will be doing what today's agenda that we are going to you know uh, have here is i'll just take you through what this training module is offering you what is the scope of the training and the most important the prerequisites so prerequisite one before you attend this training you should be well versed with the database architecture as well as database features all right so if you haven't worked on database architecture because i come across a couple of times where you know participants they don't have the in-depth knowledge of the architecture so then the performance tuning becomes difficult for them so this is highly recommended to you to do the homework before you actually attend this training on the database architecture level you know the architecture better then the performance tuning will be easy for you to, to grasp now a quick introduction to performance tuning so performance tuning this is or a performance improvement this is an iterative process okay so what we do we remove the first bottleneck where the resource contention is there and then you know it may not lead to performance improvement immediately because maybe there is some another bottleneck which is causing the system slowness or latency so that's the reason we call it iterative Iterative means you'll have to do this several times. You will have to do something, then you check whether that this fixed the problem. If yes, that's fine. Otherwise, you'll have to see what else we can do. Then again try and then see if it fixes. Otherwise, again restart and see what else you can do. So there is no one tablet for one problem here in performance tuning. This is something you know wherein you need a thorough analysis and then only we can make some recommendation or then only we can actually make the fix so there is no problem to solution kind of mapping in performance tuning it is not that simple that's the reason people come for training we need to get trained on performance tuning because we can do the implementation of the products we can do the installations migrations upgradations those are day-to-day -day activities there are some step-by-step uh, things mentioned already on the meta notes we can just refer those steps and perform but performance tuning is a totally different thing that's why those dbas who are actually expert in performance tuning they are paid higher than others why because performance tuning always pays you more that helps you to get a better uh, you know payout the simple reason is not this is not everyone's cup of tea not that simple right it is complicated that's why you know self-learning of performance tuning takes you know a lot more time than getting training and you know do the implementation of what you have learned so this is iterative process it is a hit and trial process performance tuning. all right 
now the course technology in the market so what is the scope basically so scope of performance tuning as i told you if you see the job listings these days they are coming uh, you know with performance tuning so this generally it is a big requirement for every organization that their dbas should be able to resolve the performance issues as quick as possible because you cannot always rely on oracle support for your you know performance issues because it takes time to get the resolution and all so your people or any business any organization want that its own people should be able to deliver the better performance right so job trends if you see performance tuning dbas are generally paid higher than a normal regular dba those who do the migrations upgradations etc the certifications which are available for performance tuning it is 100064 this is the certification code and the link is displayed on this slide this training that you are going to attend this directly maps to this certification exam also so if you have any plan you can also write an exam after attending the training with us after attending this training you should be in a position to crack it the certification of performance tuning it also adds value to your profile now let me introduce you to the performance management and tuning so there are two terms management and tuning right so performance management and performance tuning so there is a thin line between these we manage that our system should have a better performance or we tune our system to get the better performance so first thing that you do is the performance management you try, you try to manage that your performance should not go down and if it goes then what do you do you do the tuning two type of tuning we perform basically proactive tuning and reactive tuning proactive approach is you know before something breaks we try to keep the best practices ready we try to follow the best practices what what is said by vendor we just try to stick with those things that's called as proactive tuning reactive tuning on the other hand after something breaks now you are responsible to fix it so there are a lot of tools with database which come for proactive tuning for example you do the ash analysis right you do the aws analysis they can serve you proactively as well as reactively you use addm you use some advisors so they come under reactive tuning because they you're doing that after something happens right so a lot of tools we are also going to discuss in this training program including awr there would be a deep dive on it addm ash reports baselines which are awr baselines SQL plan based lines TK pro TRC says you know and many more so those all will be discussed when you actually join for the training for the lab setup of this training what we need on your machine would be the 8 GB RAM as a recommended RAM as a minimum and 70 GB disk space which is free lab will be provided to you by us you will deploy that on your own system and run it this lab environment would be with the lifetime access okay so you can use it for as long as you want the laptop should have windows os installed so that you can run the ml workstation on it that's where the lab will be running all right what additional course resources we are providing we will be providing you the presentations right the powerpoint slides which i'll be using throughout the sessions they will also have the note pages which will help you to also prepare for the exam as well as to you know do a deep dive time to time i will be keep on giving you useful references links etc sample resumes and we also help you to do the resume preparation guidance for adding pointers related to performance tuning based on your skills for any 
questions uh, related to course timings, you know, resource allocation, etc., you can check with the Mind Magic's team. Concerned department will get in touch with you. With this, I would like to thank you for attending this short demo session wherein we have discussed about the scope of this training, the importance of performance tuning as a job in your job as a DBA, and how the training maps to the certification exam. So I wish to see you in the class now. All the best.